You see, throughout the world, I attended a, attend a conference recently, there the same problem was there. We have the problem of sex ratio. So there is an act, we have dealt, we have dealt with it. Sex ratio has decreased in many states in India. Therefore, the court has to say this female feticide, how does it happen? There is a prohibition, there is a punishment, but still it is happening because there is a lack of awareness. I am just reading one, two lines. The present, when, when you really involve yourself in female feticide, the present generation invites the suffering of its own and also sows the seeds of suffering for the future generation because in the ultimate eventuate, the sex ratio gets affected and leads to manifold social problems. That is the problem in many countries. I will tell you, a, shall you go back to the story? Real life, real life. I have two daughters. Sometime in 1992, a great pandit came to my house. He said, uh, you must have a son. I said, why? Now, putrarthe kriyate varya. You are married so that you will have a son. I digested that. I said, if I don't have a son, what will happen? Now, then you have to go to Nark. Any you are all young children, you don't think of that. I asked him, Panditji, are you aware on hot circumstances a man can also go to Nark? Like if he tells a lie, he steals something, he disobeys his father. There are so many things. Uh, 10 or 12. Commits an ad ad adult, whatever it is. I said from childhood, I must have committed one or two. Must have told lies to my father, must have done this or that. So I have already resolved. 20 years of my life in hell. So another 10 years will not make difference because for according to me, putra, you see the concept, the word, the meanings have to change with the time and time. That the world should understand, that the younger generation must understand. Putra te kriyate bharya, putra doesn't mean a son, putra means a santan. Let it be a daughter or a son. That is what matters. You see, that is what the Constitution also says about that no sex. Achha, how many of you see Hindi movies? Can please raise your hand? Um, most of you. Most, no, I don't know. Good. You see, we, I did not know this also. I also myself did not know. A case came before us. We always think Bollywood it must be progressive, very liberal, and they must be permitting ladies because we see so many kinds of actors and big, so many things have been happening since 1935. A case came before us that women are not permitted to have license, registration to be makeup artists. They can have license only as hairdressers. We asked for the def difference. The hairdresser means he, she can only do the makeup or hairdressing of a lady artist. She cannot be engaged by a male artist. That's the union they are doing, trade union. In Charu Kurana, the Supreme Court, declared that kind of bylaw to be absolutely unconstitutional and saw to it that the women who are, to which they are entitled to get the registration as makeup artist. The beauty of you know thing one know when court passes an order. But there are people who can have various ways to negate that. What they try to do, they impose, they thought the fee is 5 lakhs. 
I said, what, we, when the matter came up again, I said, what for five lakhs? What are you doing? Ultimately, the court has to come quite heavily on them and they were granted registration and that is why in Bollywood you have female makeup artists, which is a constitutionally due to them. That is, unless they are given their due, what is constitutionally due, that is really destroying their individual dignity, the individual way means to livelihood and without livelihood, how do you maintain your dignity? That's the question.